Hey guys, Comic Book Steve here with another haul. Uh, this one's gonna be a pretty quick one. Uh, just trying to show off a few books that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks uh, so I can put them away in my boxes. Uh, mostly new releases, only two are technically back issues. Um, but uh, um, yeah, so let's just get into it. The past two weeks in new releases, they're a little mixed up. So I'll just uh, jump into it here. Uh, the first two I got um, two copies of the same book, actually. Uh, I got two copies of the cosplay uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 12 variant. Not a fan of Squirrel Girl, uh, and I wasn't really looking for these, but I, I saw two copies for five bucks each uh, at a comic shop that I go to uh, every so often in Boston. Uh, and and I, uh, I knew they were selling for like 40 on eBay, so I, I couldn't pass it up. You know, they're... These are gonna get sold. They're already on eBay. Um, it's really uh, not not a book I really need to have in my collection, um, but I couldn't pass up seeing a, a book that uh, is currently going for um, a considerable amount over cover price. So uh, one of them's already sold. The other one's hanging out on eBay right now. Uh, I just put them up yesterday. Uh, I, you know, I don't try to do that all the time, but you know, when you when you see a, a hot book of the week. Uh, for a good price, it's it's really hard to pass up, and that money goes right back into uh, putting uh, buying other books on eBay eventually. Uh, so the other book, uh, well, we'll continue with new releases. Uh, this one I also got from the same shop, uh, Lady Mechanakia, number one. Uh, I got this. I saw this on uh, Murfinator's uh, one of Murfinator's videos. Uh, I love the the art design. I love the the, the character design. I've never read one of these books before. Um, but I really like the, uh, the art here, so I had to get it. Um, it's just, even if I don't care about the story, I haven't read it yet, uh, that, that cover is just amazing. And I, I love the, uh, the character design, so that had to go into my collection. I'm not usually a, uh, an indie, um, reader, but, uh, hopefully that, that'll be as, uh, as good as, the, the writing will be as good as the design of the character. Uh, and the other one I picked up was, uh, the Retailer Summit. Uh, variant for uh, Spider Gwen number twelve, same as the regular cover. The only difference is the uh, uh, it's black and white rather than you know colored. Uh, it's got the retailer summit uh, symbol there. It was six ninety nine, so it was about five something after my uh, twenty percent off sale or uh, uh, discount. I recommend if you if you uh, live in the New England area. I know there's a few guys here that live in New England. Uh, if you got like a pull list at a shop, local comic shop you like. That's well and fine, but I'd recommend at least having a pull list of a, at least one book at a uh, at Newberry because you get uh, you only need to have one book on your pull list to get the sub subscription card, and uh, then everything every purchase you get uh, for comics or comic supplies is twenty percent off, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, I I think that's a, a good deal. So I only have Amazing Spider-Man on my official pull list, and whenever I buy stuff there, it's uh twenty percent off. So. Uh, at least you know comics and supplies. So I think it's, I think it's a. Uh, if I even if I went to another shop that was my local shop, I would probably always keep at least one book in my full list at uh, Newberry. I said Newberry, right? I meant Newberry. If I didn't already say Newberry, uh, I always keep one in my full list at Newberry. Just uh, I would always keep one in my full list at Newberry just so I uh, have that discount. So. Yeah, so that one was a. I, I didn't know they had a variant for this, so I saw it. And instead of getting the regular copy, I just got this one instead. Not a bad issue. Not nothing amazing. Uh, I'd like to see. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd like to see. I, I think I have more high, higher hopes for a Spider Gwen. Um, right now, it's it's good, but it's not like uh, amazing. So. And then we got Ultimates number eleven. Not a book that I usually get. I got it because I was really drawn to the cover. Uh, unfortunately, the inside is not as good as the cover. Uh, it jumps around artists like there's two artists that do this book, this series, this issue. Um, and it jumps around uh, quite a bit, so we get used to one uh, artist's uh, rendition, and then it jumps to the next one. And they, I feel like their styles are totally different, and it really was jarring and took me out of the book. I like the regular artist on the book, uh, but the the one who's doing some fill-in pages here uh, was really lacking and took away from. A lot of the issue, uh, and I really, I didn't really care for the resolution. It kind of all wraps up in one one issue, uh, so that was a little disappointing. Um, but this cover is still pretty amazing. Uh, I think that's 
one of my favorite uh, modern Thanos covers, if I had to choose. It'd be cool to see that recreated on the uh, big screen when they do the uh, Infinity War. Uh, another one I got, uh, I picked up 7 to Eternity number 1. This is, I don't know which one cover this is, the B or C variant. Uh, I don't know what the ratio is on these, but um, I, I passed it up the first week it was out. Uh, I didn't realize that Jeremy Opinia and uh, Rick Remender were doing it. Uh, I've, I've loved a lot of their stuff. Um, even if this wasn't like a hot book, I would have picked it up if I knew they were doing it. Uh, they they did the Uncanny X Men Uncanny X Force uh, series, and uh, and it was really awesome. And I've, I I'm really drawn to a lot of Remender's uh, writing. Uh, he doesn't really fail me too much in terms of like uh, having something that's compelling and action oriented, and really has a lot of a uh, uh, twists and turns that are enjoyable. The Venom series was awesome. Uh, Franken Castle was awesome. Uh, his, like I said, Uncanny X Force was amazing. If you've ever, if you haven't read the Dark Angel saga, I, I highly recommend it. If you're an X Men fan, I thought I'm not a huge X Men fan, but I thought that was a, a stunning uh, uh, piece of work. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I can. I think he did Access, which was really weak, um, and probably like a a a a, a lone uh, weak point in his uh, his writing career. But anyway, I, I heard that he was doing this. So I had to go back and pick it up. Luckily, the one of the shops I go to had it, uh, despite all the hype. So I was really glad to find it. Haven't read it yet. Looking forward to it, though. Uh, looks amazing. So that is that. Uh, this week, I got Web Warriors number 11. This is the final issue. Uh, so I wanted to pick that up, even though I wasn't following the book. Uh, the, the book's, you know, I read this one. Still not that compelling. So I can see why it ended. Um, I'm kind of glad it ended. I'm not into the... Uh, continuing multiverse theme I'm, I'm, it's there that's fine but i don't know i i'm not a fan of like reading about it on a monthly basis just kind of takes away from the specialness of uh each character when like spider gwen could just hop between worlds whenever she wants it just takes away from that uh from their uh specialness um the cover's amazing uh this is the regular cover it's got not every spider-man but damn near almost all of them uh, at least a lot of the important ones. Uh, you can get the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider hanging out over there. Black Spider Man, who was missing from a, a lot of the Spider Verse uh, main storyline a few years ago. And uh, and yeah, it's even got the Marcos Martin armored Spider Man up there. So that's it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I couldn't I couldn't pass up that cover even if it wasn't the last issue. They did have a few variants and they had them all at, at the uh, Newberry I was at. But um, they didn't have a, a color cover quite as striking as this, so I had to get this one, and uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, another one I got to this week. Uh, the only one copy at the shop I went to, but um, uh, I'm sure they have it in more plentiful uh, other shops. Uh, Deadpool Spider-Man number nine, first appearance of Itsy Bitsy, uh, the character on the cover. I don't know where she's gonna end up going. Uh, it might be a a popular cosplay character, I could I could see that happening, but um, I don't know what her uh, her deal is going to be uh, as far as the rest of the Marvel universe is concerned. So, but nonetheless, it's a first appearance and it's in a Deadpool book, so can't go wrong, wrong there. So could be a villain for either one of them, Spider Man or or uh, Deadpool. Uh, I picked up Carnage number twelve. Uh, series is still fun. I'm in for the ride until it ends now. Uh, Normally, it probably wouldn't be a series that I'd necessarily follow month to month, even though I think it's been really good uh, looking back on it. But um, since it's ending, uh, I enjoy uh, I enjoy having a, a book that I know that you know is not gonna just keep dragging on forever. It'll have some some sort of conclusion, so that's fun. Cover is not as good as some of the other ones, but uh, it's still very decent. Uh, then we got Amazing Spider-Man number 18. Uh, not as good as I was hoping for. Uh, still really, really solid um, and, and really awesome. Uh, it was fun to uh, get Dr. Octopus's perspective. I was a little disappointed, I guess, because it, it you know last issue they didn't really focus too much on Peter. And now this one didn't really focus too much on Peter at all. So I, I uh, two issues of that gets a little tiring. Um, I enjoy going back to... Uh, 
Peter as the protagonist. So now the the whole Dead No More things kind of this one the 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 most interesting part of uh, Dead No More is, is Peter's perspective and uh, finding out what's going on with the Jackal. Uh, and this this didn't really touch on much of that. It just focused on Doctor Octopus and what he's been up to and how he could possibly uh, return the form. So while it was good, uh, it wasn't what I was looking for. So I was a little a little disappointed, but um, I am still incredibly excited for uh, the rest of the storyline and seeing where this ends up. Uh, then we got Thor, Mighty Thor number eleven. Uh, this one was was pretty good, but. Not as like memorable as previous issues. Uh, in fact, I don't remember a lot of what was happening here, but um, since it was like a couple of weeks ago, but uh, I still love the book. So, uh, but this issue this didn't stick with me as as much as the some of the previous issues. Uh, so I ended up actually getting Civil War four, Civil War two number five, even though I said I was going to stop at four. This one I will stop with though. Uh, I figured I'd give it one more shot. Since they finally got to the fight, I wanted to see how they would handle the actual, like, conflict. It's pretty terrible. Um, it's, it's so, it's so paper thin. I, I don't feel like the argument has a lot of weight to it. Um, I just, I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying that these characters really, uh, a lot of these characters really, uh, feel tied to the, uh, the choice they're making. I feel like Carol's being irrational. I feel like Tony's being irrational. And everyone else is just kind of like, yeah, I like this person, so I'll stick with them. Or sometimes you don't even get that much of a a, a reason. You know, it just seems really, really weak. Um, and I, you know, there's, there's one thing I have to... Bendis is is really annoying with his um his characters that can... Uh, there's always one character that has some ability that's super, uh, super charged and really can't do any wrong. Uh, Sentry had that problem in his books. Uh, Doctor Strange was always just like solving the problem by doing some crazy magic thing. Uh, now we got Miles Morales. Every time, every time he's in a bind, uh, goes up against someone like really big. All he has to do is venom blast him, and then it's, it's game over for that other person. There's like no defense against that, and it's, it makes it really boring. Uh, he fought Venom in this issue, and he just venom blasts him a few times, and then that's it. Venom's like incapacitated it's like are you, are you kidding me is this is miles morales just gonna all he has to do is like go up to people and venom blast them while he's uh while he's invisible and he would have no problem and no one no one can seem to stand up to that and it's really obnoxious so that's my rant on that i will not be following this book anymore because i uh i just find it really boring the art is amazing though uh and that would be the only reason that would be tempting to get it um, maybe if I see it like a dollar bin a few years from now, but, uh, otherwise I am, I'm signing out of Civil War 2. Uh, Venom Space Knight number 12, uh, great cover. Again, the story is not that great. I don't care for the writer. Uh, I feel like, um, I'm not really sure what direction it's going to go in to get Venom back to the lethal protector that they're doing. Uh. So that's, I guess that's an interesting part of it. I'm not, I'm still, at the end of this issue, I'm still not quite sure uh, how that's going to end up back there. Or who's going to be the symbiote. Or who's going to be Venom, that is. Um, but the, the rest of it's pretty garbage. You do get to see Menace back in here, which is kind of fun. Or not Menace, uh, Mania. Uh, so that's kind of fun, and she'll be in the next issue. Uh, but as far as the rest of the story goes, I'm just... Every time, every time the symbiote talks about being a Clintar and having its its, its uh, symbiote purged, and I don't know, it just I'm like it just washes over me. I was like, this is really boring. You know, I think for as good as a character as Venom is, I've always been displeased at the the uh, the reasons they give him for uh, doing things. Like I always felt the Eddie Brock uh, uh, reasons for fighting Spider-Man were, were really weak after a while. Uh, or they didn't really, like, play it up enough, I guess. Uh, I felt like they they could have done a better job of making that a little more believable. Uh, it just got t kind of tiring after a while, even though it was a cool character. Uh, but I, even now, and I always feel like Venom is just lacking some kind of character depth. That uh, He's got that awesome design, uh, and, he, and he's got cool power, but there's just 
there's something they're missing in like his motivations that just makes it like a little a little annoying it's like come on guys just take it over that line just give him give him some like real character depth quit quit with this i don't know i'm ranting but i'm curious to see where it goes but uh this issue didn't like blow me away the cover is pretty cool though i do dig that uh, then we got, I picked up Captain America's, Captain America 5, uh, the Steve Rogers Captain America. Uh, I wasn't going to pick this up either, but that, there wasn't a ton of books I was getting uh, the, the day I stopped at the shop. Um, so I, I grabbed this one based on some good things I heard about it. Uh, it's good. You know, I'm still really interested to see where this uh, Hydra cap is going. Um... I wish it, I wish they weren't like three ninety nine each. Uh, I guess that's the only thing that stops me. Uh, otherwise, it would be an instant buy for me. But uh, it is it is a intriguing angle to a, a intriguing story to the character. So uh, there is that going for it. And this one actually does have a lot of a uh, tie in with Civil War too, which is there are actually some surprising things that tied in. Like Cap was the reason for some pretty pivotal moments in Civil War two behind the scenes, which. Uh, I think made it worth the price of admission, but um, I I don't know if I could necessarily follow this uh, continuously. I am going to be picking up a lot of the uh, clone conspiracy tie-ins when it comes out, so something's going to have to drop off, um, even though I do like this book a lot. Uh, it might be this one. Who knows? But I do, I do think it's fun. Uh, next one I got here is one that I've been trying to get for a while. Uh, amazing... 607. Uh, finally got this one. I got it for 35, uh, which I thought was a pretty good price. It does have some some bending going on, on the sides, which uh, is not great. In all honesty, uh, not very deep, so I think that could be pressed out if I really wanted to. But um, I, I was just happy to find it for under 40. Well, I wanted to get it for under 30, but uh, I guess that wasn't happening. So 35, and that was after uh, shipping. So I think that was uh, pretty decent. Uh, really nice cover. Um, if I remember correctly, the story was pretty fun too. But uh, this was the last one I needed in my in in the harder to get hard to get ones or expensive ones from the uh, two hundred to modern day Amazing Spider-Man. So uh, it's all it's all uh, it's all smooth sailing from here. Just about I think nine more I need to get to complete that run. And then eventually, I guess I'll start on the uh, 100 to 200. But um, this was the big one of the bigger ones that I needed. Actually, well, it was the biggest one I needed that was left in the uh, the remaining 10. So now I need nine, and they're all pretty cheap. So I am happy about that. And the last one I got was just one I saw that was a cool cover. Uh, this was three bucks. Uh, Venom number 21. Nothing special here. It's a great cover. I think I was disappointed by the cover artist uh, who was the main artist on the book, not being the interior, interior artist for this issue, uh, which was one of the selling points for me. I, I really liked, I forget his name, but I really liked the artist and his work with the Remender. So uh, that was a bit disappointing, but I do still really enjoy the book. So that was fun. Uh, that is all I got. Um, I still have to post the other video which, that I did. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, which will be going up before I post this one, so it will seem, uh, what I just said will seem odd to everybody. Um, they will go up in, in chronological order. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope everyone's having a good fall. And uh, I might go to a convention next month. I'm, not, I'm trying to I'm thinking about if I should do it or not. I uh, wanted to go to the Pittsburgh uh, Comic Con. Uh, I used to, I went to college in Pittsburgh, um, so that would be fun to, I haven't been there since I graduated back in 2005, so that would be fun to go check it out again and see a comic show in the meantime, um, but we'll see. Uh, probably won't happen, it's more like, it's like a 50-50 thing right now. I have a lot of, uh, things going on with work and school, so, uh, t time is, uh, time is not friendly. I still need to finish watching the Luke Cage series time i need i need a 48 hour day sun rises and sets you know later in the, like i just need 48 hours just give me a 48 hour day people 
Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.